dread it, run from it, destiny arrives all the same. It's finally here. If you've never experienced Wheel of Mutt before, let me give you a quick rundown of how this works. Our goal is to win a Super Bowl. To make the Super Bowl, you must win five regular season games before you lose three, and then go undefeated in the playoffs to make the Super Bowl. The only problem is we start with the base 68 overall silver team. And to build this team, we'll spin the Wheel of Mutt three times before each game. Ah, let me reword that. If we win the game, we keep all the players we added. If we lose, we get nothing. And lastly, each Wheel of Mutt season starts with three prestige players. Prestige players are locked into the lineup and can never be removed. And I am always entitled to the best version possible of that player. The best way I can explain this is by revealing our very first prestige player. This player is on defense. The reigning defensive player of the year, Nick Bosa, is our very first prestige. So, so Bosa stays on the lineup no matter what. And if a month from now, Nick Bosa gets a 92 overall best right end in the game, he is instantly added to our team. This was a tough decision. I was between Nick Bosa or Miles Garrett, but I definitely wanted an elite edge rusher. He also is the reigning defensive player of the year. I imagine Nick Bosa is going to get a ton of good upgrades this year. Even if he gets injured, I feel like Nick Bosa is going to get a most feared or a Christmas card. So this felt like a very safe prestige to me. 81 speed, 85 tackle, power moves, and finesse moves are amazing. Unfortunately, he is a core elite right now, so he doesn't get any abilities. But I know he's going to get an upgrade down the line. Our next prestige player is on offense. It's a wide receiver. My offensive prestige player is Jamar Chase. 85 overall Jamar Chase. Last year, I prestige Justin Jefferson. Honestly, he would have been an amazing prestige again this year, but I had to switch it up. 84 speed, 85 jump, 6 foot 201 with excellent stats all around the board. I can't wait to see what upgrades he gets. And our third and final prestige player is Punter. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> How many of you just got so ready to type up a comment? Our third and final prestige player is strong safety, Derwin James. 86 overall. Now, the main reason I like Derwin James, aside from the fact that he's an amazing all-around player, is he's six foot two. A lot of DBs and safeties can be six foot or even shorter. Being six two makes him such an elite threat in the skies. He already has spectacular zone and man coverage, 85 hit power, probably one of the most well-rounded cards in the entire game. And Derwin James is another guy that is almost guaranteed upgrades. So with the prestige players in, this is our true lineup going into game one. Nick Bosa at right end, Derwin James at strong safety, and Jamar Chase at wide receiver. That leaves Tanner McKee as our quarterback, Chris Rodriguez Jr. as our halfback, Zach Kuntz. There's no way that's how you say it. Kuntz? Good God, man. Israel Adesanya at wide receiver. It's not looking good on the rest of this team. Let's just put it how it is. Now, the good news is we have three wheel spins to build this team as best as we can to hopefully get the ball rolling with our first win. The very first wheel spin of Madden 24 Wheel of Mutt. I am praying for PAX. If I can't get PAX, I will actually take that. That's not bad at all. 84, 85 blind. So I'm going to head into the auction house and I'm going to sort by all 84 and 85 overall players. So we're guaranteed to get somebody good. However, I'm not allowed to look at the players. I have to blindly scroll and randomly land on somebody. So right now I'm 84, 85, but I'm sorted by buy now. I'm going to turn around and sort by time remaining so that we get everybody. And then I'm just going to randomly scroll. Down, down, left, down, right, down, up. Oh. Oh, do I stop? Do I stop here or do I go two down? Do I stop here? I'm going two down. Now One, you fucked two, up. And E. <laughs> Wait a minute. Quentin Nelson? Wait, but who was I on though? Who was I on though? Did I fuck this up? Oh my god. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's my fucking god. <laughs> There's no way I could have known, but damn, greed. 
Quinn Nelson it is. Honestly, I don't know why I'm mad, man. An 84 overall left guard is, is actually... That's an awesome addition to this team. Positionally, this is not something we need. We just don't need a left guard right now. I have no backfield. I have no corners. I don't have shit. All right, boys. First wheel spins in the books. I'm hoping to get at least a quarterback at some point here. Oh, that could be amazing. Sit, sit, sit. Look at how close that is to going over that edge. That is on the, like, quarter percentile. That is huge. Three times mystery packs. And no, that doesn't mean I choose random packs. There is literally a pack in the store called a mystery pack. And the mystery pack contains other packs. I've opened a lot of these, but if you haven't seen them, this pack either has a pro playmaker pack, a star elite pack, legends pack, headliners, gold plus, a dog shit. I get three of these. Best case scenario is three pro playmaker packs because they have a lot of players. And right now I just, I just need players. Oh, let's go. That is a pro playmaker pack. We got a free safety. We've got a right outside linebacker, Justin Holland. Rashad Fenton corner. Amazing. I don't even care if there's an elite in here. Darnay Holmes. Kenneth Gainwell. That's our halfback. We got Jihad Ward. Eric McCoy, my new center and a legends player. 81 junior Seau. He's going to be a nasty user. Seau does have an 87 over Overall, that 87 overall is a freak. But even just as 81, 80 speed, 6'3, 77 change direction to linebacker. It's a good budget card. You guys are just getting it's ultimate team. Your mommy won't let you steal your credit card. 81 junior say out. I am still quarterback list, but that was such a good start. That actually shored up my entire DBs. Oh my god, Pac 2's legends. DeMarvin Leal, another legend. Stay high, stay high. Fred Taylor! 84 speed, 82 excel, 85 change of direction. Holy shit, 57 catching. This guy's got concrete hands, but what? Whatever. Got a left tackle there. A no oh, wait. This is a Legends pack. Of course there's Legends in it. I'm a fucking idiot. I'll take fullback Franco Harris, though. I was thinking this was another pro playmaker. I was like, damn, look at all these Legends. And 78 Sherman. Just how slow are you, 78 Sherman? Oh, shit. This is actually a good card. I mean, it's not good, but 81 speed 6-3 is pretty damn good. And our third and final mystery pack. Oh, my God! There's no way! That was near the perfect scenario. Honestly, might have been the perfect scenario. This is so sick. Ali! Free safety, Eddie Jackson. Don't mind if I do. Alante Taylor. We got Jonah Williams. John Runyon. More O-line. That's amazing. Ambry Thomas. Still no quarterback. Chuck Clark. And finally, we get Raekwon Davis. We have we have built such a like halfway decent base team, but I have no quarterback still. Keep in mind, those mystery packs could have been three gold plus players. So we got stupid lucky to open up right there. Here's what offense looks like. Fred Taylor and Franco Harris back here. I put Kenneth Gainwell at wide receiver. No tight end, no right tackle, but we built a pretty solid O-line. Let's talk about Alante Taylor, though. This is a 74 overall gold, 84 speed, 84 acceleration. Some of the fastest wide receivers in this game only have 86 speed, so that's actually such a good pickup. I'll put Sherman at CB2. Our Darius Washington is dog shit. 5'8", 75 speed, no thank you. Ambry Thomas, though, 82 speed, 81 excel, so we'll put him in. And here's the defense. We're up to a 75 overall. Not gonna win us the Super Bowl, but that is a great start. Eddie Jackson's my highlight. We got some decent DBs in there. D-line's a little more juice. And then Junior Seau's gonna be an awesome user. None of these guys will stay on the team, but they're definitely gonna help us to our first win. And all that means for this third and final wheel spin, I need a quarterback. Bad. Come on, boys. Third and final wheel spin. It's rare to start the season with a win because it's so hard to do. But we have a shot here. Oh, God. Oh. Guess I can go quarterback for this, yeah? Gold player. But I pack a punch them if they score a touchdown. That means if I score a touchdown, I get their best possible version. And the first player that comes to mind here for me is Kenny Pickett. So Kenny Pickett has this gold 77 overall quarterback, but he also has this 87 overall, and the 87 overall comes with ability protected. Crazy good ability, and he's also a crazy good quarterback. Why is Kenny Pickett the best quarterback in Mutt right now? If I pick up gold Kenny Pickett here and I can score a touchdown with him, just one. And win the game. We get 87, Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett gold. He's got 71 speed. He has 78 short accuracy. That's actually respectable. 77 throw power is deep, is trash. Mid is trash. Throwing her pressure is not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's better than Tanner McKee. All right, boys. All three wheel spins in the book. Literally every single player you see here that isn't a prestige player is on the line in today's game. This is an insane amount of players to be on the line. See, normally five days in, none of these players even start. But since this is... 
is the very first episode. I really got to win here. And before our regular season debut, the last thing is the challenge room. Each game will have a challenge. If we can complete it, we get one pack from the store of our choice, or we can salvage one wheel spin if we lose. So every once in a while, I am just getting my shit rock down by 40. But there's always the chance that I can still complete the challenge wheel and save one player from being removed. And that may come in play today, but we never plan for that. We always plan to get the dub. Our first ever challenge of Madden 24 Wheel of Mutt is... Yeah, I don't know about that. Hey, maybe he'll just spam runs. I need to hold my opponent to less than 175 passing yards. Shit, man. And listen, I got Derwin James. I got Bosa. I got Junior Seau. It's possible. Never rule it out. Busted already. Fuck me, EA. I cut you. You're not even going to show me my boys. Oh, he's got Revis, Josh Allen, Ramsey. It's actually a good sign. That top three could have been all 87s. So we like to see that. Oh, I'm nervous. That's Derrick Henry. That's Derrick Henry. Go low, go low. Frank Gore's in now. Does he run the ball again? Holy shit. Wait a minute. Is he going to run the ball every play? This looks like a run too. I'm going to go on Derwin. Get ready to blow this up. I think it's the left side. Oh no, it's a pass. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm out of position now. Go low. Nice tackle. I'm going to send Eddie Jackson off the edge. I'm just going to cover the middle with Jihad Ward, 69 speed. That's not a good user. Shit. No pass rush? Okay, he passed out of this last time. Yep. He did that dump off last time. Oh, he hurt me. Shit. He's like Tony Stark. He learned from his mistakes. I did not expect him to do that to me, man. Oh, right here. Damn it. Nice play, man. Going with the blitz here. I'm going to man up Alante Taylor. Mm, hits his tight end. Oh, he's got the boy. He's got Kuntz. Throws him a laser, too. I'm going to stay ready for the run here. First and 10. Derwin, come down. No. Come on. Damn, this guy... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Have you ever seen a bailout like that? All right, we're just going to go cover one. Play this base. I see the half... Ooh, who got home? Nick Bosa! Fourth and 17. Does he take his points? Holy shit, he's not taking his points. I'm going to send his own blitz. He's, he's widened out. He doesn't have it! He doesn't have it! Clamped by Derwin James! That's a massive stop. Holy shit, I thought for sure, dude. He was knocking on the door. Great play by Nick Bosa and Derwin James. Our prestigious stepping up early. I don't have a lot of players to play with right now. Hey, hey! Hey, 57 catching Fred Taylor. I'm going to go Fred Taylor weak side run here. Uh, just cut it up and take the first. First and 10. I'm taking the inside zone. Gets the second level. Quentin Nelson. Whoa. Oh, I thought for sure I had that inside. That's okay. I'm going to hit Fred Taylor underneath until he forces me to stop. He's on Micah. Micah's looking slow. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. Fred Taylor just got blown up. I do not like that. We have a good left guard, a good fullback, and a good running back. I should be able to run I formation. Oh. That was... Oh, fuck! Oh, oh, you're kidding me! You're kidding me! Fred Taylor! I was so confused. I've never seen that celebration before. Wait, I gotta see that again. Dude, does it... Like, that was almost technically not a touchdown. I might have given myself up before the touchdown. Amazing news. We're on the board. We get ball a half. I'd say the only bad news, Kenny Pickett did not get that touchdown. So I still got to get him his touchdown, and I still got to hold him to 175 or less. Like, I like Loki. I almost scored too fast. He's not running. Pass. Go Henry. Go Henry. Let's go. This is a little aggressive, but I'm going to guess pass. I think it might be a, a screen. I'm too slow, but the pass rush. Nick Bosa! All right, one more guest pass. We know he's passing. Oh, no. The tight end. Bad ball. Oh, you are boxed. Josh Allen, you're boxed. Just get home one more time, boys, and it's all ours. I'm there. It's a bad ball. It doesn't matter. Alante Taylor. Are we going to walk out of Wheel of Mud game one with a W? Fred Taylor to the edge. Don't turbo yet. Now we turbo. Shoot for no sprint. Got it. Fred Taylor! Hold your poverty, Fred James! Damn it, I'm scoring too fast! If you guys are wondering what I just said there, if you're sprinting with your running back and you turn sprint off and then juke, the animation is one billion times better and it's not even close. I, I, I genuinely have no idea why. But uh, if you juke without sprint, it's so good. So 14 to zero, hey, I'm geeked about that. But it's not as strong of a lead as it would have been last year because I have a lot of clock to defend still. He's going to stay in balance. Fumble! No! Oh my god! Wait a minute.
doing it. We're doing... We're, we're getting God tier luck right now. Okay, he's five wide. I don't actually like Tampa 2 for this. Let's go man. Let's go man. And nobody. 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 Get that shit out of here. I'm sending a blitz. This is so risky, but I'm going to... I'm going to do it. Fuck the running back. Oh, good play. He feeds over the middle in front of Derman James. He's in no huddle. See what I mean? Like, look at how much... There's just so much clock. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I saw the seam on the left. I should have burnt the clock on that last drive and scored with no time left. But I guess I can still score another time. Get there! Let's go! He checks down. Oh my god, another fumble on the same tight end! Alante Taylor! Let's just start chucking haymakers. Fuck it, we ball. Jamar Chase. Is that a haymaker? Or is that a really stupid pass? It's a haymaker! It's a fucking haymaker! Oh my god! Oh! My god! Come on! Oh my god! Get out! Mercy rule! Hey, send it to the dashboard! This puppy's over! It's 21 to fucking zero, and that is a Kenny Pickett touchdown. This is what we call a trifecta, boys. We get the win, we get the upgrade, we get the challenge wheel. Oh my God, bad angle. He's not in. Is he running with Josh Allen? Right here, right here, right here, right here. I'm gonna bring Hollins over to blow this up. Gotta be, gotta be, gotta be, gotta be, gotta be. <gasps> Read option, he doesn't get it. Certain goal, don't you let me hold you up right here, man. He's got a pass now, right? Is he too spooked? Or he... If he runs it again, I'll get it. Oh, blow it up, blow it up, Darwin. He's, he's passing now, 100%, just cover everything. I'm on to Marvin Leal. This is so bad. Not who I want to be on. Great touchdown, man. That took some balls. I got stuck on the D lineman. Ah! Take the check down. Fred Taylor does catch it. I tell you what, man. 57 catching is the most deceiving catch stat of all time. Hopefully he guesses pass. I think he did. Because that, oh my, there's no way he guessed pass. Do the juke. Get the fuck out of here. You are joking. You are joking me. So in Madden, if you guess pass and your opponent runs, it puts like concrete shoes on your opponent. That's why all of these guys look like the slowest motherfuckers in existence. And it's halftime, a 21 point lead. We get the ball in the third quarter. I need this game to end. Come on, Big Freddy. Edge, start the turbo. I, I'm gonna get him again. Jesus, man, you have to like. Six rushes, 162 yards, three touchdowns, Fred Taylor. <laughs> no way. Come on. Oh! <laughs> oh my God. It is the literal trifecta. Challenge wheel, rage good wheel, and the Kenny Pickett upgrade. Dude, the only thing I'm sad about is not seeing player stats. Fred Warner was averaging 25 yards per carry. That right there, boys, is how you start a Wheel of Mutt season. One and oh. Let's start with the challenge wheel. We completed our challenge and we won, so we don't have to salvage anybody. We get one pack of our choosing from the store. Keep in mind, it can't be like this headliners pack because that costs Madden points. It's got to be a coin pack. Let's take the Triumph Elite pack. Best case scenario, I'd say a tight end. Andre James is not actually an upgrade. We get Mike Onwenu, who is an upgrade. Plus one platinum. Another elite. Ooh. We're going all O-line. I bet you Onwenu will go to right tackle. Ted Karras can go to right guard. And our fourth and final player is another corner. Next, we will take a spin on the Rage Quit Wheel, boys. We legitimately could not have asked for a better first episode, so... Hey, 25,000 coins spent on one player. I like that. Oh, boys, we're in for one hell of a Wheel of Mutt season. I also want to thank all you guys from the bottom of my heart to watch this series year after year. Just, that's just insane, man. I'm so unbelievably blessed. It's all thanks to you guys. So, shit, man, I'm gonna start crying. Thank you guys so much. 25,000 coins to spend on one player, though. I'm gonna pick myself up a tight end. I use my tight end so much. I just hate, I hate not having a tight end. So 10,000 coins would get us an 80. Can we get an 82 overall tight end for 25,000 coins? It's nothing crazy. Crazy, but oh damn 82 tight ends are a little too expensive are all 82 overalls that expensive or just tight end all 82 overalls are that expensive okay so the best thing we're getting here is an 81 Ooh, 
Ooh, do I take a kicker here, actually? I actually think I take a kicker here. If I have a guaranteed extra player, it's so... Dude, this helps on kick returns so much. Have a usable kicker. Matt Prater, Kaimi Fairbarn. Ooh, I can go Harrison Butker. Harrison Butker is a savage. I think I'm gonna go with him. 20,600 coins on Harrison Butker. I'll save tight end for another day. And gentlemen, there's only one thing left to do after scoring on an absolute bomb to Jamar Chase. By the way, Kenny Pickett, you're a yak merchant because Jamar Chase made that entire play. Kenny Pickett did have a passing touchdown. So we do get the pack a punch. And our new quarterback is Pittsburgh Steelers, Kenny Pickett. 80 speed, 86 throw power, 87 accuracy, 84 mid, 82 deep, 83 under pressure, 83 throw on the run, 81 play action. And I think one of the most important things about this Kenny Pickett is this ability right here, protect it. You get stronger pass blocking from all your offensive linemen. So honestly, even if I had those silver O-linemen in, they would still pass block so much better. Crazy that he gets it this early. And we can put another ability on him as well. I'm gonna go Homer to get reduced zone objectives in the home stadium. And I'm gonna give Kenny Pickett Omaha, which shows defensive coverage on DBs if you can activate it. Wheel of Mutt Madden 24 season opener is in the books. It's gonna be one hell of a season, boys. So buckle up. You've got about 70 episodes of Wheel of Mutt ahead of you. It's football season. It's the best time of the year, man. So let's have one hell of a time. I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.